I think I saw some hands before. Okay, can anyone tell me what it means? Heidi? Like everyone who sells stuff on the street. Yeah, that's one form of it. Ethan? It's like. Can I do an example? Like a mm -hmm. kid who like had a business when he was like nine or like nine years old, mm -hmm. and he would, he did it by himself. Yeah, perfect. Gary. Uh, so basically, trading. Mhm. Mm right. Anybody else? Anything to add? Please. Business. business. Yeah, exactly. It's like a person who does business and stuff. Uh huh. That, that is definitely part of it. <laughs> So I want to introduce our uh, idea journals. So some people think, you know, with like, like a lot of people like to write things down in a journal every day. This is not quite the same thing. So this is just if you have, one of the things about an entrepreneur is that they're always looking for opportunity. They're always coming up with interesting ideas. But an entrepreneur can also be somebody that helps other people. Uh, an entrepreneur is someone who can help change the world in a positive way. Ethan. Okay, anyone else notice anything? Uh, observations about the video, or maybe like some of the ideas on your cards that you might have seen in the video? Elise? Um, she was showing empathy because she, was, because she wrote a book to help other people, not just having success herself and not really caring about anybody else. Good. What does it mean by observe? Like to look at you. Yeah, to look at you. Also, like, um, learn. Oh, I heard too many voices at the same time. I can't tell who is talking. Can we do one at a time? To look and to ask questions about it. Mm -hmm. To look and ask questions about it. To pay attention and like to some to an object you are really like curious about. Mm, I love paying attention. That's a good part. Yes. To kind of look at something more closely, like something you see every day. When you look more closely, you discover more things about it. Wow, that's a good one. Yeah. What I observed is that there are purses. And I think that maybe the problem is that people are putting purses in random places, so they're losing them and forgetting them because it's in the back of a chair, so they might not remember to take it or maybe on the ground. So that maybe they could make posters about like not forgetting your belongings and to also put it on the internet so a lot of people keep their heads in their phones instead of posters so that makes <laughs> more sense. And, uh, oh, that's a cool idea. So the solution to all of these is uh, such a kind of problem is to, to make, make your valuable. No. I know what. I have another one. It's to make windows not like breakable and also not like, you can't see through them, but you only can see from the inside. Mm -hmm. oh, I just heard an idea that I was actually thinking. How do you make the windows unbreakable?